What's going on guys? Today we're making a simple profile picture. Three apps you're gonna need are Fonto, Eraser, and Photoshop Express. So first you're gonna wanna start off by going onto Safari and finding your background, which I chose a Galaxy background. And then you're gonna wanna open up Photoshop. And in Photoshop, there are many different effects and different things you can do to your picture to make it look better. It's like here, I can just change the darkness, the black aspect, I can change the temperature, make it hot, make it cold. There are a lot of different things you can do on this app. It's pretty great. And then also you can transfer it over to Photoshop on the computer. So I already edited mine and here's what it looks like. So now you're gonna open up Fonto. You're gonna click on the camera icon and pull up the, the circle or your background. So you have it right here. And there's still a white background on it, so you're gonna pull up Eraser, you're gonna pull up your photo, hit Erase, and then you're just gonna erase all that white little outlining on the outside. There are different ways you can do it. I'm just doing the easiest way. So you can just erase all the white outline on there. And then you're gonna go ahead and save it. And then you're gonna head back to Fonto. And you're gonna pull up your cut image now with no white background on it. See, there it is. And now you're gonna wanna get a uh, white circle. So like, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So just like a little circle cut out. And you're gonna wanna, it's already aligned in the middle once you pull it up in Fonto. So you're just gonna wanna size it up however you want. And then you're gonna go to Safari. And now you're gonna wanna find like the character that you want. So it can be a character from like any game you know, anything you want. So I'm choosing Wraith from Apex Legends. I spelled it wrong. And I'm also gonna type in Render so you can get uh, the high quality photos instead of just like the animations. So I like this photo right here. So I'm gonna press down on it. And then I'm gonna hit Save Image. And then I'm gonna take it back over to Fonto. It had a transparent background already. So once you save the image, it saves the transparent background. So it's ready to just be put right into Fonto. And I already had this downloaded, so I need to scroll up and get it. There it is. So now you're gonna wanna size it up, however big you want it to be. And there's a cool little effect I wanna do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the white circle the top layer on it and you do that just by uh, pressing down on it and putting it over the wraith and then you want to center it up by hitting two little signs on the bottom of that once you click move so then you're just gonna adjust you know the size of your character the position and everything you want So after you're done getting your stuff done, you're gonna click out and go to Eraser to make this cool little effect I want. You're gonna click on your character that you selected and you're basically just gonna cut like a portion of their body off. So see what I did here, I just did a little swipe and then you just wanna erase the bottom part of the body. save it and you're gonna head back to Fonto you're gonna pull up that little cutoff section of your character and then basically you're gonna size it up with um, the character in the photo on Fonto this is the way to create that cool effect while also having not as much technology as like a computer because we're doing this all on iOS so I'm just gonna sit here and mess around with it until it looks good Then after you're done doing that, you're gonna want your you're gonna want to put your text on. 
so whatever text you want so i'm gonna put detox prisma so now i'm gonna look through here and find a cool cursive um font that i want so i found a cursive font that i want so i'm gonna go ahead and type in my name detox prisma so then you're gonna want to click on style and then from here you can change all the colors you want so i'm just gonna create a simple black text I'm gonna look at it on the picture, see how it looks right. Then I'm gonna go back to style and I'm gonna click on stroke. Now this basically adds a different background to it as you can see. So I'm gonna set it to where it just covers up the hole in like the D and the P. So after I do that, and it looks all good, I'm gonna size it up. Oh, I accidentally messed with the race head. I gotta put that back in position. So after that technical difficulty, we're going to adjust the position of the text. Uh, I think right here I chose it to be a little bit towards the bottom of the circle. And then also I'm going to hit tilt and kind of tilt it a little bit. I think it creates a cool little visual effect. So after you have your text in, I'm going to put a fog effect in. I already have a fog effect in my photo gallery. There it is. It's transparent. So I'm just going to throw that in until it looks nice and more natural with the photo. If you don't want it to be like square cut off and stuff, you want it to go with the flow of the photo. And you're going to save it take it over to eraser so then you're gonna want to erase the white background because it was recreated from downloading it back from Fonto and here I'm erasing a little of the white part because whenever you use the way to erase that I'm using it'll just select the color that you select and it might delete part of your photo I'm also leaving part of the bottom like as you see I'm gonna leave the hands in those little cut off legs on the bottom. I'm gonna save it just in case the circle doesn't line up right with the profile pic. And then you're gonna go over to Twitter or Instagram or wherever you're gonna use this profile picture. And then you're gonna test it. You see how it works, which it was a perfect fit for me. So then you just save it. And now you have a pretty cool ass profile pic. So just with three apps on the phone, you can make a dope profile picture. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.